What is the power source? The power source is the lungs and diaphragm. Diaphragm contracts to, uh, so that the lungs can have their full capacity and um, it pushes the breath through the larynx. Where does it push the breath to though? So when it goes through oh, the larynx? The vocal folds. Okay, and then what are the vocal folds? The vibrator. Yeah. So when the breath goes through the, the vocal folds, what does it do? It creates a humming noise, which can be like different speeds or pitches, break different speeds, break different pitches. So if it's faster, um, if they vibrate faster, that make a higher pitch. Yep. And different genders have different shaped vocal folds, so that's why they have, um, men have shorter vocal folds. Yeah, shorter vocal folds, and that's why their voices are deeper. Yep. And then from the vocal folds, so you've got um, kind of like the vibration of the breath. Um, so then from there, where, what happens to it? So like um, when it's passed through the um, vibrator, it then goes to the resonator, which is what? The throat, the nose and the mouth. Yeah. And then... So, like the vocal folds, depending on the size of, of like for each different person, they're different because the sizes of them are different. Yeah. Yeah. So. So then, from the resonator, what what's next? Yeah, so you've got a hum from you've got a hum. You've gone from your diaphragm, which has gone from a breath to a vibration to a hum to now. The articulators. Yeah, which is the teeth, the tongue, and the lips. Yeah. Um. So if you make like a T sound, for example. Yeah. Um. You're using your tongue. But like different letters, you'll use like different parts of your mouth to make different sounds. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is um voice terms so we're just going to briefly explain what each of these are and maybe what they're used for in acting so projection um projection is used so that an audience can hear clearly what an actor is saying yeah pause um you can use it for dramatic effect so um show what someone's thinking or so if you to if I was to um, uh, if someone was to arrive on stage and it's often like say like a clown or something they might instead of pause have silence so they might pause in order to gain audience interaction in terms of an applause so they might do do like an act or something or like a little trick and then pause and wait and that's when that's like the cue for the audience to react to it so sometimes it's for audience interaction or reaction what's tone and what's the difference between tone and monotone tone like shows the like way they're feeling so it's like the emotions in the voice yeah so um if you're monotone you just want like varied your tone so you're just using like one tone so in stuff that you've done what have you used a lot of tone in the children's audio book and then in other things like what type of example would you use maybe not just one tone like a monotone what, what would you be monotone in, or maybe use just maybe two or three mono like tones? Non-fiction book. So why what's why would you use more tone in a children's book than an adult's book? Because children um, have like lower attention spans, so they like 
find it more interesting to listen to different tones. So related to tone, what else? Um, what else is almost like tone that you could use in a children's book? Accents. So why would you use accents in a children's book? To show different characters. Yeah, so you ch to show different, yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Uh, pace. Um, how fast you can say something so you can show like how a character's feeling. Like if you're like in a rush or something, you speak quickly. Yeah. Or if you're sad, you might speak slowly or um, emphasis. Um, like you can emphasize a specific word in a sentence. So if you were saying, I love you, and you emphasize the word I, it would mean a different thing to if you emphasize you. Mm -hmm. um, volume. Um, it's used to help the audience hear what does what they're saying. Volume also like linked to projection. But what's like the difference? So um, if you, yeah. Projection is more like um, about it being like clear as well. But volume is just like clear how loud it is. Pitch. Pitch. Um, how high or low it is, um, it can show like a different character because mm -hmm. you could have like a character with a high pitched voice. Um, what kind of like if you were playing a male character, you could do a deeper voice. So, not only can it show gender, but what else can it show? Age. So if you were to, like, how could it show different ages? Like, So a child would have a high-pitched voice compared to an adult. Yeah. Um, I think that's it.